channel so this is another unboxing video but this time it's about my hobby so it's plants mm -hmm. so hopefully I get this camera right because I did a lot of unboxing video of my hobbies like figures and something but the camera doesn't get right it's always my face blurred out but here is a plant and this is probably the most expensive plant I um, plant I spend it's around 150 it's supposed to be 130 but then the shipping so this one is um, from Gaia May LLC, which I probably put the link below. So this is um, her store, and she do mo she do art prints. And warning, the art prints her art may be a little mature, but she sells melanochrysum. So melanochrysum is actually one of my wish list plant, and they always tend to bid all the way to 200. So. It's too much money for me so i got lucky that she sell one around the hundred range but yeah but recently i've been um knocking out all my wish list plants so i was happy about that and then the problem is i have more wish list plants so now i want the gloriosum and the clarinarium so yeah but overall um i think i got most of my wish list plants got by um Two of them got eBay and I got this pretty low price compared to the local place I got. Cause the pink splash, I got it at eBay around 70, I mean 80, and the girl in my local sell it by around 100 and something. And I got the mo uh, Sagonia Mojito around 71, 57 from bid. And I didn't even try bidding, I just bid and left and I won. I was like, what? So then, yeah. So this is my, this is actually my number one wish list plant. And I think my first one will be my Sierra Album, but that's too expensive for me. I'm not going to spend like $200 for a plant. $100 is max. So this one is probably the most expensive plant I spend. So yeah. But I've been spending so much money on plants and pots recently. So I'm planning to make a, um, a more of a plant haul video of all the plants that I collected. Probably after this video, so but it's gonna be posted later though. But yeah, but I might get the Gloriosa from my cousin because she been selling plant and she got it before me at a cheaper price. Cause I went to this website and it was like a war in there. It's like everybody's getting everything and I couldn't get anything in there that I want. So yeah. Okay. So this um this um plant um. It's from this, I already told you, of her store. And she's actually really um, helpful. She took a picture for me and sent it by email to see what, oh, to see, um, to see, uh, to see how the roots are and everything. And I, it's like, I'm glad that people will uh, take an extra mile to send you an email on how they package stuff. So it's nice. So yeah, oh, this is not, this, the leaves are so nice. So I love huge plant or gonna be huge later plant because I don't know I have a I just like huge plants for some reason. If I have a dog I will be, want a big dog too. Uh, if I have a big cat I, I will want it too. <laughs> so I, I like big stuff I guess. But yeah. Oh yeah. This is so cute. I love my little Chrysler. I can't wait to get the Gloriosa because I say I gotta buy it for my cousin. So if I buy it for my cousin, it's cheaper. I don't need to bid all the way to 150 or I mean 200 for a Gloriosa. So she say she will sell it because she already have one. So she be she have a plant store. So which I got a link below too. And she sell um some rare ones, some common ones. But her packaging and her customer service is good. Oh no, don't break this. So, I have to be careful with this. So the packaging is really well. Hopefully the roots are good too. Oh, come on. So yeah. But I want it to be on my bed. The lighting here is really good. Which is why I um, often filmed here. But my bed took some of my space. So yeah. So I just don't want anything to drop. But I think she rooted by sphagnum moss. I need another pot. I've been pot, pot shopping like at Saturday and pigment. And 
I didn't buy that much because it's too <laughs> piglet is a little expensive pots, but they're so cute though. So if you want cute pot, go with pigment. I want to try going to Folia Collective, but Folia Collective is ooh, is um, closed now. So I rather choose a pot that is up to my liking rather than um, just buy it online because I don't know what the size are or what it looks like on my plants. So I think this sphagnum moss and the roots are really well. I just hope one day it grows so big. I love big plants. So I I always try to check the root first to see if it's any root rot. Cause I always scared of getting root rot plants and it dies after. But the rooting is pretty good. I heard that uh, from the local lady that I often buy plants from that um this plant is hard to root. So here it is. I think this one is root rot. I'm not sure if I can cut, should cut it down, but yeah. So here's the root rooting system. This is going to be my favorite plant. Hopefully it grows pretty well because I heard melanocarsum grows fast. So oh yay, baby. Good thing I didn't cut that one. It's a baby leaf. So there's this upcoming baby leaf. Hopefully I didn't damage it. But yeah. So here it is. This is the full plant. Looks nice. And I'm probably gonna put it with the pole later. But yeah. Hopefully it turns big because I really want it to grow big. But yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, so if you want Melano Chrysler, go check on her place. Better than bidding because sometimes Melano Chrysler and eBay tend to go to a 200 range or what? 100 or something range. So I feel like 150 is probably a good price. The girl from my local sell two of these for 250 So I was like, that's too expensive. So yeah, this is probably really good plants. So yeah, so that's pretty much it. And I'm probably going to do a next video on um, my plant haul this week or this, this month, I guess. So that's pretty much it. And thank you for watching.